Hey folks, I've been, <laughs> I've cut out the roads, Mike. I've cut out the middle man. It's not, he's not being used. He's got to go back to the music studio. I'm using the Zoom mic, the H6, which of course is the, the, the pinnacle of mobile sound recording. It's like a beautiful piece of equipment. It's really heavy. I mean, not really heavy so that, you know, you, it's awkward to lug around, but heavy so that it doesn't blow off the table and stuff like that. It's a very stable, a stable piece of kit. Now, it's got two mics at the top, the X and Y, and they point sideways, so you're not getting all that popping. I can't believe I had this mic all along after all the dramas I've had for the last two weeks. So I'm in the four-post to bed. I'm not recording on the H6 at the moment for this recording because, unfortunately, the Spreaker app for iPad only allows for one uh, microphone input, and I couldn't figure out... There didn't seem to be any way to change it from the, the, the mic on the actual iPad. Do you see what I'm saying? So I'm doing this podcast on the actual iPad. But I did fiddle around with my settings and I turned up a volume. So I'm wondering if I can get a better... I'm holding this quite far away from the from the mic, from my mouth. I mean, did you hear that noise? You can probably hear that. But I'm hoping it's kind of got rid of those terrible mouth sounds that I've, I've been giving you all for such a long time. I just haven't thought about it, really. So, um, much improved, hopefully, audio. The other thing you can do, if you want a really smooth, beautiful audio, is use the H6, use the Logic Pro, or whatever other interface you've got on your iPad. I mean, I'm I'm an sl- absolute slave to Logic Pro, I'm afraid. And you can record it directly onto Logic Pro, and then you can save the file. You can tweak it a bit if you want it want to. Save the file and then upload it to Spreaker. Do it that way. For me, for the podcasts, I podcast so much all day long that it's just an extra step I don't need or an extra two steps I don't need. But if if I can edit the audio recording well enough for Audible on there, then I can... That's going to be brilliant. I doubt I would be able to. But I'm happy to record it and then take it into the music studio and give it a proper engineering treatment and then um, upload it... Well, it'll be uploaded on the podcast and probably by Friday you'll get the story as well. No music. So, you know, you're not allowed to do music on these podcasts, sadly, even if you own it. So you'll get the... I'll be reading your bedtime stories on Friday from the Book of Immersion and hopefully the graphic novel will all be ready as well. God, I hope so. But I'm really pleased. So tonight, or maybe this afternoon, I'll do it this afternoon, I'm going to read the story check it out for suitability give it a tweak in the edit studio if needed otherwise I can upload it straight to um, Final Cut Pro I've also got the app there now let's just talk about money so the Logic Pro app on iPad is $4.99 a month we get a month free trial the Final Cut Pro is also £5 a month I can't remember if I got a free trial or not but, you know, so be it. And iMovie is free. I'm using all three of those software um, interfaces on iPad. And they're working for me. They're simple enough, but they're high quality enough for broadcast standard. And that's what I need. That's all I need. I don't need anything more. I don't need, you know, the sound of, of a cinema you know, a real proper cinema. I just need people with handheld hardware to be able to watch my films and possibly a TV. Now, I was at my daughter's the other day and she has this... Did you hear my knee click click then? You probably wonder what it was. She has speakers in the ceiling, speakers behind the sofa, speakers either side of the TV. And... Uh, we didn't actually listen to any TV, but she said she doesn't notice the difference. But I thought, well, therein lies the truth of somebody who has the best. You won't notice the difference because you never have, you never experience sound elsewhere. It's your home and that's what you're used to. But I bet if suddenly it all broke down and it was just coming out of the TV speaker, she probably would notice the difference. See what I'm saying? Um, so I'll have next time I go there, I'll have a listen 
and I'll let you know if I think it's, you know, makes a difference or not. What else? I Well, I think that's it. Oh, I put a... I put the Zoom mic on a little th uh, three-legged spider stand with bendy legs. And you can put those sort of anywhere. You can wrap them around bars. I mean, I have got a bar at the headboard of the four-poster bed. So I could wrap it around there. But um, I may expose it to sort of tinny noise reverb if I do that. So what I actually did just now in my experiment, I had two cushions, made them quite stable... Um, and balanced, perched, should I say, the the Zoom mic on top. And really, the acoustics were perfect for vocal um, audiobook recording. There was nothing horrific occurring. There was no sound bouncing around. And I don't even have the final curtain. The final curtain. You know, the I've got three curtains down on the four-poster, but when I record proper proper like I will put the the final one down and I think that is going to be pretty damn good pretty damn good so yeah big up for the h6 I finally touch wood touch my head managed to work out a doable way because these recordings are going to come thick and fast and I, when you're doing something thick and fast, that I mean, that's why the H6 is so good for, for newsreaders. It's broadcast standard. They've got to go out. They've got to run out and do a quick recording constantly. So how cool is that? Of course, it's it's ready to go whenever I need. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I've got a, sh a little shelf bookcase at the end of the bed with a, with a, a spare shelf and that I can put it when I'm done with it. Um, and I'm probably not going to do... I mean, I might even try and do some vocals on it for my next single. Who knows? It, it may work if it's good enough. You know, I process my vocals anyway. It's not me really singing. They're heavily processed. So if it's it's probably going to be, you know, just as good as the Rose mic. So, um, and, and just smaller. You know, I'm a little woman. So there we go, guys. That's the update so far. I'll be back later on with more. Um, because I'm on a road to discovery today, I really am. But I best get on with this bloody book because I want it out by Friday. So take care, and um, yeah, I'll get, I'll be back soon. <laughs>